Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we continue with uh, another data validation option. Uh, we use custom. So custom used to validate user input using a custom formula. So in other words, you can write your own formula to validate input. So there are so many ways yeah, in using uh, uh, custom uh, or using the formula. But for this example, I'm using uh, this sample data. So let's say we have budget uh, for this item, rent, travel, postage, supplies and advertising. So the first uh, step uh, for this sample data, so we have to uh, count the submission for this item. So sum so equal to, okay, so G3 until uh, G7. So we close data. Okay. So now at this uh, cell for rent, so we go to data and then go to data validation. Then we choose custom. Okay. So now we have to put the formula. So we go to uh, formula. So equal to sum. Okay. So range from this uh, G3 until G7. So this sum. So let's say we uh, put our budget uh, less than 2000. So we put S less than 2000. Okay, so now we go to, and then go to error, uh, unless we have uh, put as exit budget, your budget should less than 2000. So we can choose the style, either stop or warning or information. So in this case, warning is suitable yeah, for this uh, error message. So we click um, setting. So if you can use this one, we can click apply these changes to all other cells with the same setting. So you check this one, then click OK. Okay, so now we put our budget. So let's say rent is 300. Okay, and then we put 500. Okay, so then we put a 600. Okay, so now there are some problems with this formula. So we still not exceed then 2000. So now we uh, continue. So we cancel this one. Okay, we have to do some changes. If you uh, found this uh, problem, okay, we go to this cell for travel. So we check for the data validation. So now the sum is should be between G3 until G8. So you have to change the sum cell. In cell, okay, you put until this one, okay. So G3 until G7. Uh, to correct this error, you have to check uh, one by one for each cell, which uh, calculate for the uh, total of this item. So we click OK. So maybe there are some errors in this, or I'm missing the sum symbol sum okay so click ok so for this cell we cannot do uh, we have to do one by one okay so now we track g3 until g7 okay so sum okay so okay Okay, I try to this one, so I have to change the cell and between G3 and G7. Okay, so good. Okay, there are some problems eh, with this uh, function. So, uh, usually we just setting for uh, the first cell, eh, but to solve this problem, so we have to. Uh, Correct all the uh, cells that involved in this uh, formula. So then we click OK. So now we continue with uh, postage. Let's say we put as 300. Okay. Uh, supplies. Let's say we put as 600. Okay. So, so advertising. Let's say we put as 350. Okay. So now. Uh, it will be 2050, which is less than uh, 2000. So, we're going to continue. So, we put S300. So, enter. 
So we put as less than, eh? then we click, okay, so no. So let's say we put 290 until, okay. So this will not exceed then uh, 2000. Okay, so let's say we, we change to uh, 299, okay, 0.99. Sorry. Okay, it will be acceptable because it's less than 2. Okay, that is for custom. Okay, and there are many more uh, formula that we can apply in uh, data validation for custom. Okay, so we go to another uh, data validation option we call as list. Okay, so a list only value from a predefined list are allowed. Okay, so the value are presented to the user as a drop-down menu control. Okay, so the main goal of a custom list is to remove repetitive work and manual errors in inputting. So uh, in this example, let's say we have a position or job uh, as a manager, clerk, administrator, specialist, assistant. So all this data might be uh, not changed in your department. Okay, frequently. So we will using list yeah, in, in order to uh, avoid the repetitive work. Okay, uh, so do we don't have to write the same job yeah, for uh, each uh, employees. Okay, so how do you want to use uh, list uh, in data validation? This is the very uh, easiest uh, formula yeah, that can be applied in our Excel. So we go to job, okay, so we go to data validation, so we choose data validate, so now we choose list, okay, so click the data source, okay, so we choose uh, manager until assistant, okay, so now I go to Sorry. Okay. Okay, so now we have the. Uh, so in this cell, uh, if we don't track the formula, it will uh, not considered in this cell. Eh? It will not appear the drop down menu. So what we can do is just drag for this uh, column okay so now we can delete this one okay so let's say we put our name okay and here's a name let's say Fatima okay okay um, and then uh, I put commercial name okay Ahmad Okay, so now we don't have to uh, write okay, the same job or the repetitive work. Okay, so next examples, uh, maybe we have one. Okay, so go to data validation, then we choose list. Okay, so data source. Okay, you drag from January until December. Okay, so then click OK. Okay, so now we have, okay, so don't forget to drag to the other cell, okay, so this one we can delete, okay, so now we can choose which one that the employee start for his or her job, okay, okay, okay so that is for the uh, list, okay, so if we have a uh, reference from another sheet in this cell so let's say we put a state so we have state okay so for example we have state okay go to home okay put the same center okay so we put the border Okay, so now we want to use a list in the data validation. So go to data. Okay, so we have data validation. Then we choose list. Okay, so this time around, so our source 
we put in, in another sheet. Okay, so let's say I have this raw data. So go to this raw data and then you okay, you drag this. Uh, okay, so uh, suppose this is state. Eh? Okay. Okay, then click OK. Uh, so now we have state. Okay. Okay, so we have to track. Okay, so this one we delete. Right, then we can choose in which state. Okay, that is the function of a list yeah, in a data validation. Okay, so we have discussed uh, data validation. So basically, in data validation, we have a validation criteria, a whole number, a whole number, decimal, list, date, time, text length, and custom. Okay. So you can choose either one, which function that you want to use in your report or in your Excel. Okay. So next, uh, we continue with another uh, another topic in in this lesson five. Okay, so we go to filtering. Okay, so filter we we use for uh, to choose a specific value or a range of value okay uh, so several filter can be used so each acting further on the current data subset okay means that uh, we can choose which data that we want to analyze okay uh, for example if we have this uh, data okay and then just uh, you click this row okay so column a until column e then we go to filter okay so go to filter turn on filtering okay then we filter uh, let's say we want to know only for smith okay then we should have smith saja okay only for smith okay so if you want to go to the uh, original data then we have to clear okay then it will show your text filter okay so we clear and then if you want to choose the number filter okay then uh, let's say we just want to choose this number then it will display for that particular uh, employees okay so as well as to date okay okay if you want to go back to the original data then you will just to clear filter okay so also for date okay we can select Okay, only for January and February. Okay, and we'll show you only for month January and February. Okay, so this one we clear. Okay, so also goes to product type. Okay, we can go to specific product which one that you want to uh, find the data. All right. Okay, so let's say we clear. Okay, as well as the company, so let's say we want to choose only piece of pizza and our kung food. Okay, uh, so it will display all the only data that we want to analyze or that we uh, data that we want to know the uh, okay, so uh, that is all about. Uh, data filtering okay so next we have another uh, function we call as conditional formatting so i will uh, continue in the next video